What do you admire most about yourself? About myself. About myself. Uh, about myself. Uh, about myself. Um. <sighs> oh God, this question is difficult. <sighs> this is a. Come, let me let me think. What do I admire? <laughs> what do you admire most about my, my brain, guy? <laughs> See, yes, I don't have any special features. It's just my brain. I have many qualities, so I have to pick one. Mm. I can't say confidence because ah, there's false confidence. <laughs> I can't say my dedication because I'm lazy. <laughs> Activate arrogant mood. Everything. Ah. Everything. <laughs> my dimple. Mm. My smile. Everything. Wow. 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 I do a lot of stuff. I'm a very smart person. Uh. Okay. I mean, if you don't believe, that's, 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 that's your problem. I like the fact that I'm nice and <laughs> and I don't like stress. Hey, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like, okay, my... I admire myself, no, my body. What, what do you admire most? Like, maybe physical what? features. What? what? Like, my, what? Okay, my face. Yeah, she admire her face. That's what she does. And my good arts. Good, uh, I'm a very good person. Well, I'm a nice person. <laughs> I'm a, you yeah, don't yeah. need to tell yourself that you're a nice person, guy. People need to tell you that you're nice. The ability to love, be respected. So when I love people, I don't expect you to love me back the way I love you. So I just love like that. I'm a... What's the word? I'm a die-hard lover. Yeah, that's the word. The fact that I'm not easily shaken by anything, it, it takes time for you to like really get to me. So I don't really have that emotional distress, and then I know how to handle situations like on the spot. So I think that's something that I really like about myself. I stand for what I believe in. I don't. I'm not easily swayed by different opinions. I think that's. I think that's an amazing thing. Yes. It might not sound like a lot, but like fuck that. I mean. Mm -hmm over stress like things and I know how to put it. I don't stress things a lot. Yes. Like I'm just a very free person. Whatever happens, happens that comes by, comes by and it goes, it goes. I admire my uh, love for books. I actually like reading. So I think I love that about myself. That would be it. Yeah I actually admire everything about myself. It's not like I'm being too spiritual or anything but I believe I'm perfect. Like from my face to my chest, my body, everything. Yeah. I show care a lot to people and actually I have this ability to really bless it, spend for people without having anything in mind. So that's what I sometimes when I like give people some things, I'll be like, wow, really? And I can't actually spend so for myself. I admire the way I treasure my friendships to people. I admire the fact that I'm a nice person, even when I don't want to be. I just can't help it. So I guess those are the only two that actually come to mind right now. The fact that I can um, see somebody and love the person. The fact that I can want to be nice to just anybody, even if I don't know the person from anywhere. I think that is something I really admire about myself. Basically, one, uh, one thing about myself is that I always look forward into um, achieving a lot in life and basically I have a lot of people that is my role model that I look up to. So every day I keep on the, the hard work and I feel the hard work pays. So that's a lot of things I admire about myself. Yeah, the fact that even when I go through hard times, I am always able to pick up myself and like dust myself and keep going. And I admire that I'm always very optimistic in everything I face. I think that's what like keeps hope alive. What's that? Um, I admire my attention. Hmm, how do I put it now? You know, in today's society, yeah, many people in our generation have this kind of laid-back attitude towards themselves, like the characteristics and features and attributes that make up 
themselves like the make of the individual so they're like they say stuff like well this is how i am take me as i am you know deal with it if you don't if you don't this is not what you like they go away so i have identified myself as that individual that takes responsibility for the kind of person he is and for his actions and words and so compared to my peers i i take responsibility for myself i self I, I i term it introspection yeah i ask myself okay what i just did what i just said wasn't necessary could i have done it better or should i not have done it in the first place i hope i'm conveying information other than this attention to being a better being the best version of myself as cliche as my sound i also admire my self-confidence you know I know that a number of people see me and are like, that guy is proud, or is, is this, is that. It's not as if, what's, what's, what's if how much is in my body going? But um, other than, yes, God has definitely deposited a lot of things in me. And at the same time, I'm confident in that. <sighs> Does it even have to be a reason for me to be self confident I just am, like, you don't like it. <laughs> <They go. laughs> so yeah, I admire my self-confidence in it doesn't matter uh, it's not it's not a function of how much I know or it's not a function of how much I know and or how much uh, how good I am in something I just am so uh, I won't you won't catch me stuttering or I'm fresh.